We have a lot to cover. We've got some breaking news with Coinbase, the banks, the FOMC meeting. Checking this out, the market is absolutely pumping today. In the last 24 hours, you can see here 1.23 trillion, up 1.8%. Look at the green. I've got a better way to show you in a sec, but just check that out. We'll go into it in a second. Checking out Ethereum there, 1874, up 2.9% last 24 hours. Market cap, 222, $226 billion straight up and to the right. It's obviously what we like to see. It is better to be buying it on dip days, not on up days. You do you, I'll do me. Really quickly, this video is not financial advice. Let's keep going. Bitcoin 28,800 up 2.8% as well. $558 billion market cap. Look at that straight up huge wick up. If we zoom out, it looks very similar to those big wicks down just going up the other way. Check out this though. Crypto bubbles. I love this. How cool is that? Hex. Anyone in the comments, drop a comment below if you like Richard Hart. But Pepe, keep your eye on Pepe for the week. Check this out. Boom. <laughs> Big daddy. We're going to get into a couple of things. What I want to do is just flip straight over to this one. 22 hours and 17 minutes and 38 seconds right now. Countdown is on to the FOMC meeting as well. We are going to get a 25 percentage basis point hike it's to be expected when that comes out more than likely statistically the market is going to come back down a little bit before it starts grinding back up as well got a couple of things to go over why bitcoin and the rest of the market is pumping but there's a lot going on in, in the markets talking about bitcoin here it hit 56k yesterday so Bitcoin flash rally briefly pushed BTC derivatives above 56k on Bitfinex. The spike triggered a series of liquidations on the exchange. Now I've got a comment on that. The move occurred at the same time as Bitcoin surged 2.5% on spot markets elsewhere as investors reacted to the stock prices of two banks. Those two banks were PacWest and Western Alliance which plunged by more than 30% as concerns about the US banking system resumed. Two things there. More bank collapses are to come. The big banks are just going to buy them up. They are being pushed there. That's my biased opinion. And then in regards to the other comment here, the spike triggered a series of liquidations on the exchange. I don't know if they reversed that. Probably not. Probably a lot of people got wiped out. Unfortunately, if you are trading, especially on leverage, please use proper risk mitigation strategies. Before we get into the huge news with Coinbase, everyone loves Sports Illustrated. Uh, they have launched an NFT ticketing platform on Polygon as well. Polygon is getting a lot of institutional adoption in a way so sports illustrated ticketing marketplace si tickets has developed box office and partnership with ethereum software company consensus sports illustrated ticketing marketplace si tickets have developed box office blah 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 so the announcement on tuesday said it will be the first the world's first complete nft ticket service allowing event owners organizers and promoters to use box office to build further engagement opportunities into tickets such as highlights, collectibles, and offers through a feature called Super Ticket. Now, this is very bullish. Blockchain technology offers significant benefits for consumers, particularly ticketing, including enhancing payment security and eliminating scalping and fraud. Obviously, the other day we talked about Visa and MasterCard, MasterCard in particular having that KYC to be able to protect users' funds operating on the blockchain. I could see that working very well with this box office SI tickets. So, now, th th this is the big news. Coinbase, they are absolutely sick of the US. They have been trying to do the right thing for a very long time. They're getting pretty fed up. And they have been faced with too much regulatory uncertainty. So, 
um, they have been downgraded and we'll talk about what City has done with them. So Coinbase, Coin will remain weighed down by high levels of uncertainty until crypto regulations are better established in the US. The bank cut its rating on the exchange stock from buy to neutral and cut its price target to 65 from 80. Coinbase shares dropped 1.2%. That's just another hour in crypto. So that's really, that's nothing burger to 49.54 in pre-market trading there okay so that's one thing because of the regulation they're being hit at a stock level hold that thought for a moment and then we're going to flip over to the next thing here if we can get rid of those ads now they've opened off they've opened up an offshore crypto derivatives exchange we did cover this when it first came out when they got their permit based in Bermuda. Coinbase International Exchange will not be open to US traders. On a side note, if you're interacting with crypto, you should be using a VPN. I'll leave that thought with you as well. Back to it. Just with VPNs, you can be anywhere in the world. I'm, I'm just saying for no particular reason if you get my drift. So the new facility will initially let traders bet on the price of Bitcoin and Ether via perpetual features contract with up to five times leverage, which is pretty small in crypto because we're going to talk about something that's insane in a sec that's probably going to send Pepe up and down on the most wild ride. And all traders will settle in the stablecoin USDC. You know, I actually think USDC will be the first properly regulated stablecoin in the US. It's just an opinion, but I definitely think that's possible. So in a blog post, Coinbase said trading has begun. 5X leverage in Bermuda, not for US citizens. VPN allows you to be anywhere in the world. They may or not be connected. So Coinbase, they've, they grew quickly by working with the US regulators. Will they expand, expand even more by disregarding the SEC? In 21, uh, they had reason to think it was in the SEC good books. Then came Gary Gensler, <laughs> uh, Brian Armstrong, what a goat. And now the exchange is going overseas with its new business. So they did launch the derivatives exchange in Bermuda. Despite being asked numerous times to register with the SEC as an official security exchange, Coinbase has instead fought a deficient battle over what crypto tokens do and do not count as securities. So really doing a very important job, and it's a hard one. Obviously, their stock price is being hit very hard with what they're doing, taking on the SEC. But somebody has got to do it. Brian Armstrong, thanks very much for doing it. Pay my respects. Drop us a like if you agree. And let's keep going now. Pepe, this has been a lot of fun for all the DGENs out there. So it soars over to a 500 million market cap as meme coin fever and grips crypto traders. Caution. I just want to say caution. I'm not saying not participate. True to heart, we're DGENs at heart but this is where it gets wild pepe derivatives will be listed on bitmax with up to 50x leverage it doesn't need a wick up or down very much for you to get stopped out so be careful <laughs> pepe is in the outer space heading to the moon so 502 million dollar market cap following a 21 hundred percent rise since it was issued last month the pepe token surged by 350 percent over the weekend alone look at that pepe now pepe is the goat that is what we're going to see more and more of as the bull market really progresses my belief is we are in the bull market as well but there is that wall of worry. We need to get through that. And it's going to be up, down and sideways for the rest of the year. I see it starting to head up. But the Bitcoin halving is about one year away as well. So the time horizon lines up. We're not going to be right in it until that halving. 
but we are in that part of the cycle. And this, it just goes to show that is just insane. Let us know what your plan is. You know, there's a couple of good ones we've been talking about here. Renda, Radix as well. Where's Arbitrum? Solana, I think, will do really well narrative-wise in the bull market as well. Obviously, they need to fix their outages, but it is what it is. Now, going over to another part of the world, if I can zoom in. No, sorry. <laughs> no, it's not making it any better. Alrighty. So... Going over to Brazil, a digital bank Re Revolut now offering crypto investments over in Brazil. And I don't know why it didn't highlight. It did. So they have around 29 million customers and they're looking to um, take on New Bank, which has around 70 million customers. So a little bit more than twice as much. What they say their mission is and their bank is, so I don't trust them um, but it's nice that they have this mission our mission is to unlock a borderless economy with financial products that are accessible and easy to use and that allow our customers to use their money efficiently and then they go on to say we will start with the global account and crypto investments but this is just the beginning if we do get some good actors banks in the space that have that kind of mission a good thing and they already offer crypto investments across Europe, but they are now moving into Brazil as well. So that is quite good to see. We're just going to have to see as time goes on. I need to look a little bit more into this bank as well. And ordinals, I think, are incredible. Um, what they're doing for the Bitcoin blockchain, but Bitcoin requests for comment tokens, and we'll talk about what they are, surged to 137 million in market value. Here it talks a little bit about what they are. The BRC20 standard sounds like the popular ERC20, um, but the two are different with the former lacking the ability to interact with smart contracts. As of writing, market cap more than 8,800 BRC20 tokens was 137 million a staggering 682 percent rise from 17.5 million seen a week ago now a pseudonymous on-chain analyst named domo created the brc20 token stand in early march to facilitate the issue and transfer of fungible tokens on the bitcoin blockchain the experimental invention came weeks after ordinal's protocol went live allowing users to inscribe digital art references into small transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain. Ordinals on Bitcoin have had unintentional consequences. Of these is the invention of the BRC20 fungible token standard. It's now possible to create fungible tokens on BT. I think they mean Bitcoin. Anyway, since inception, BRC20s have accounted for nearly 6% of all Bitcoin activity. Now that if you miss the nuance, is so bullish long-term for Bitcoin as we get to the halving and the block reward reduces, they're going to be earning more and more and more money from fees. And long-term, we're talking about 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 years out, that's what we want to see. Carrying on. This breaks it down a little bit. So BRC20 is not a token standard like you're accustomed to with the EVM machine chains, uh, which create smart contracts that manage the token stand and its various rules. Instead, it's simply a way to store a script file on Bitcoin and use it to attribute tokens to Satoshis and then allow them to be transferred between users. At press time, the top three coins minted using the BRC20 standard were Audi, OG, and Pepe. Everybody loves Pepe. Look at that. It's up even higher. Pepe is just a bulldozer. I'm not saying FOMO in. I'm actually saying the exact opposite. Pepe, at least at this stage, is going to play the new Doge role. People at some stage may get bored and then roll into something else if you are chasing mean coin pumps risk capital it's an insane wild ride and it should be there really only for fun and maybe to stack more eth and bitcoin or whatever hard asset you like 
Um, <laughs> so the launch of BRC20 tokens has eliminated the need for crypto exchanges. We want to get rid of the need for centralized crypto exchanges. Yes and no. What we want is clear regulation, especially in the States. That is the largest market. It is starting to move overseas and we're seeing that. Hopefully, the world all gets on the same page. They are favorable, but these companies are going to move to the countries with the least resistance, the best tax laws, which also may not protect you, KYC, AML. And although AML, anti-money laundering, becomes a hot button issue within crypto, people should not be laundering money. Then on the other side, if you make money, you're printing money. I'm not, I'm not talking about the bank printing money, just printing money into your pocket, whatever it is. When it's your money, it should be your choice. That's what I believe in. Anyway, FOMC meeting tomorrow. I'll show you one last time. We have 22 hours and three minutes timer recording. It will probably continue to be volatile. Obviously, those two banks, stocks plummeting more than 30%. Pepe soaring 400%. Every day, we'll keep you up to date with the fast facts, with the news. Hit subscribe, drop us a like. You're all champions. Be blessed. Peace.